Hello everyone, welcome to Explorer Hop. Today we will be finding the x-intercepts of different functions. So the first question states, find the x-intercept of the function fx is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 40. As we have learned in the lesson, to find the x-intercept, we basically put the function is equal to 0. So let's do that here. We put the function x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 40 is equal to 0. Now we can use the zero product property, which states that whenever we have two terms, for example, x plus 2 being multiplied by x minus 40, we can put them equal to 0 and solve them separately. So we can take this and this separately and solve them for 0. For example, x plus 2 equals to 0, which would give us x is equal to minus 2. Then we can solve x minus 40 equals to 0, therefore x is equal to 40. So our x-intercepts would be x minus 2 and x is equal to 40. So we can just write that down, so minus 2 and 40. Now let's find the x-intercepts of the function fx is equal to x times x minus 4 whole, whole squared multiplied by x minus 3. This looks a bit complicated, but we always know that whenever we have to find the x-intercepts, we basically put the function equals to 0. So 0 equals to x multiplied by x minus 4 squared times x minus 3. To solve this, we can use the zero product property, which is that whenever we have different terms being multiplied with each other, we can just equate, we can just solve them separately and put them equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to zero, which will give us this one. Then let's try x minus four squared equals to zero. We can take the under root on both sides which gives us x minus 4 equals to 0. Then this will give us x equals to 4. Then we can try x minus 3, which gives us x minus 3 equals to 0. This would give us x is equals to 3. Therefore, the x-intercepts are x is equals to 0, comma, 4, comma, 3. And that's your answer. Thank you for joining us. I hope to see you in the next lesson.